Hey, Dave the Butterfly Guy here. So today the topic is how do you put out feed for your butterflies? Certainly you want to have all kinds of host plants and flowering nectar, high pollinating flowers, but there's uh, also another way to attract extra butterflies is by putting out your own um, butterfly food. So the tools you'll need for that are I got this little shepherd's hook. It's only about four foot tall, so I'm going to hang a butterfly feeder from that. I did buy a butterfly feeder from Bird's Choice. I'm going to show you what that looks like. So the feeder is made up of just really three parts. It's got this hanging hook that screws into the top. It's got the top here that's bright and yellow that attracts butterflies. You can see the little holes where the butterflies will be able to reach in to get to the food we put in there. It's also got some little trays for fruit. And I'll tell you about what kind of fruit we're gonna put in there in just a minute. And then it's also got a little moat on the inside. So you'll fill that with water and it actually helps ants from not being able to get to the food we put in there. So, and the goal is to just hang this above the top of your flowers. So I'm gonna hang this, uh, my, my uh, shepherd's hook is about four foot tall. This will go down maybe another foot. So it's gonna be hanging about three feet, which is about the top of my purple cone flowers. So that's the goal today. And let's get on and I'll show you the butterfly food we're gonna put in there. All right, so I'm gonna make some butterfly food. I actually bought this butterfly nectar. It comes from Bird's Choice, the same place I got the feeder and Again, it's made up of a few different ingredients that are good for butterflies. It's got glucose and fructose, which are sugars, but it also has some calcium and salt and amino acids and all those help butterflies uh, get stronger. So I'm gonna use this. All you do is, this is a, a, a powder form, so I'm gonna mix three tablespoons with nine ounces of boiled water and that'll dissolve in there. Then we'll go place that out in the feeder. If you don't want to buy this, you can also just use sugar and water. And for sugar, you would add for every uh, cup of sugar you would use, you would use four to five cups of water. So that's kind of the ratio. Sugar water works, butterflies will be attracted. This just maybe has a couple other ingredients that are good for the butterfly. So let's put that together. All right, so now I'm ready to go ahead and put my butterfly food into my butterfly feeder here. I'm gonna start, I had that diluted butterfly nectar. I'm gonna pour that on the outside. I'm gonna try to avoid getting any on the outside of it. I don't wanna attract ants. So again, that nine ounces, 10 ounces fills that up pretty good. So that's good. I also brought a little water and I have it just in a water bottle and I'm going to put that into the ant moat. Again, that'll help prevent ants from getting in there. So that should be good. Just set this on top, the yellow flower. It's got these little holes at the top where the butterfly's mouth, their prosbiscus, goes right through that. And again, it's very small. Um, bees will have a difficult time using it, so it's really set up for butterflies. I am gonna set a little bit of fruit on top here. I've got some cantaloupe today, so that works really well. Uh, again, what the butterflies wanna be able to put their prosbiscus into the fruit, so it has to be fairly soft and maybe a little bit unripe. Um, are overripe, I should say. So again, cantaloupe can work, watermelon works, kind of squishy old bananas work, peaches are good. So all those are the types of fruits you want to use. Again, I'm going to use cantaloupe today. So I brought a little tray of cantaloupe and again, I've got some of the softer middle part of the cantaloupe. I'm going to just set on top of this. So here's how it looks. I've got the cano on top. I've got the butterfly food inside. 
got the bright yellow flower. I've got it situated just above my purple cone flowers. I also have some daisies. Uh, my butterfly bush is back here. So it's in a really good spot to feed butterflies and hopefully attract even more butterflies into my garden. Hey, another great option if you want to put butterfly food out in your garden, but you don't want to mix sugar and water together. You don't want to go to the store and buy a butterfly formula or food. You can just use Powerade or Gatorade. The sugared versions, don't use the zero calorie because you need to get the sugars. That's an important part of what the butterfly is looking for. But Powerade has things in it like calcium and sodium and magnesium that are all those minerals that are good for butterflies along with the sugars. So again, I think next time when I run out of the stuff I bought from the store, I'm gonna give Powerade a try. So that's a little tip of the day. So I hope you enjoyed watching me put together some butterfly food for my butterfly garden. So that's all I have today. It's Dave the Butterfly Guy signing out.